Dean, my wife's out of town. So this is, but I sent him the agenda, the link to the website. The agenda, so he should be able to. But that was another thing. Thank you for doing that. I sent it, but my phone decided it was going to do a security update. I'm doing an email, and I was like, oh, I'm telling you. I'm go, back to, go back to 2023. I'm a 19 nightmare. I really am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have different sizes. Yeah, yeah, put that. Okay. Okay. I hit more again. It is recording. Okay, so there we are. Maybe click on that picture and we'll. Yeah, can blow it up. We want to be full screen. Maybe hit the three dots on the left hand side in, in the picture in the picture frame. All right. Um, gentlemen, if I turn on your purifier, you need that. No, I'm fine. All right. Is it uh, I think I think as long as it's recorded, yeah, we're good. We're good. We don't. We, we don't. No more nasty uh, notes from the town. Okay, I call the meeting to order. Um, this January tenth at seven p.m. Um, I'd like to welcome our ladies on from the select board. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our meeting. Thank you. Um, can we review the? Wait, what's your last name? It's Brugos. B R U G O S. Okay. Wish everybody a happy new year. It's nice to be together in this new year. Thank you, you too. Okay. Paul, can we have the minutes from the last meeting, please? The minutes from the last meeting were actually we didn't have a meeting in December. Okay. We had meeting, we had meeting in November. Uh these were we went over these and these were approved. Um Shannon had questioned the uh, Menden Historical Society had in fact uh, Provided for the program in the garden with Eleanor mm -hmm. Roosevelt. So, and we did, in fact, pay them $450 for that program. Uh, the council continued a point by point review of the grant requests uh, that were that will continue through December and into the January meetings. Uh, the next point was all those groups that the cultural council will decline um, have been identified or will be identified uh, in the coming weeks that have happened. Uh, next meeting will be tentatively, we said on uh, December 12th. We didn't feel the need to meet. And here we go. All those in favor of accepting the meeting, say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. I accept it. Um, I did reach out. Let's start our new business. I did reach out to the Historical Society. I sent her an email. I haven't heard back or anything from her, <laughs> which. When was that? Like uh -huh. the week right after we met, I reached oh, out to her, but she might have been like, who is this person? Because I did introduce myself as a new person on the committee, sure. but I haven't heard anything back. And with the holidays and everything, too. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, yeah. So I'll give it another week, and if not, I'll reach back out to her and see if she has any questions. Could you, is it Kathy's so, Yeah, yes. directly to her. Correct. Okay. Um, shall we get on to our grant process for this? Mm -hmm. Sure. Completing our grant process for this year. So, um, did mm -hmm. anyone see the email from the Blackstone Valley Community Chorus? I saw that. So I printed out the paperwork oh, and you. signed it, and then if somebody else can sign it, um, you know, we can email this stuff too. I forgot the person's name, but we can email it and I'll email it. What's, what's the issue with this? I'm just, I'm just. It's the, the, the second thing was like in December, so now they're. Oh, yeah, now okay. they're looking for payment. Well, fine. That must that must wrap up 2023. Yeah. Okay. This was your last reimbursement for 2023. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So the new cycle for this year. Thank you. Right after our November meeting, I had sent out all of the uh, rejection letters. Um, 
Those went out, all of those went out on November 16th. I had one person uh, write back, to, actually, he, he wrote, wrote back and contacted me through my mailbox, which I'll get into in a second, um, who he's rebutting, and that was the um, uh, Bill Moffat. He, what he, actually, I had this, it was just strange. I had this in my mailbox, no address. The, the funny part is, I don't have a mailbox on my house. I don't have a mailbox in front of my house. We have a, a street mailbox. And you can't get into my mailbox other than my, I can get in with my key and the, and the mail person. So I don't know if he looked me up and found out that I lived on Applewood Lane and waited for the mailman and said, hey, throw I don't know how it got in there. That's weird. That, that's that's, that's, that's weird. No, no. But, you know, he put his, he, you know, he, he's not shy about it. He put his, you know, his return address. Um, so he is rebutting this. And my, my question is, and I know you can get direction through the Mass Cultural Council, um, the instruction for reconsideration. Um, and I know, I think there's like a 30 day window. He has, he has to notify us, which he did. He notified this group. Um, I haven't received anything. I haven't, you know, in my e in my email, I don't think has anyone here received anything. Nothing. So, does that mean if there's no communication within 30 days that it's um? Well, did we go over what 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 his rebuttal says? Um, is it just more or less? Just I've gotten every year. I've gotten every year. <laughs> yeah. I'm really I'm the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah. Um, I I sent this out, and he just said, I'm requesting reconsideration for funding for my project, Birch Alley Grass Christmas Concert for December of 24. For 10 consecutive years, the Men Council has supported uh, this concert, including the December 15th, which yeah. will be coming up, which we, which is, we just talked about. In my mm -hmm. opinion, this project does provide more than enough public benefit. Um, I'm hoping that you will reconsider, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that was something that Joanne and I were talking about before you folks arrived. Um, is this a stock letter, this re this rejection letter? Because, um, you know, it talks about in the first paragraph, our funds are limited, so we can't often support everyone. You know, they all may be very uh, uh, worthy, but we can't afford it. Yeah. Then your application was denied because, um, and it says you clearly didn't meet the goals of the arts and humanities. Uh, the one I checked was your project did not provide enough public benefit for our community based based on you know the others that we received. Mm -hmm. There's no talk about limited funding. To me, when you talk about when the funding is limited, yeah. you have a great program, but we're out of money. Right. There's nothing else to right. discuss. I agree. Something yeah. I, I would like to. I would like to. You know, moving forward, I would like to add another blurb. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. a stock letter that I think we've I think mm -hmm. it's been used for many years. Um, I got on council for a couple of years, and I got it from the people before me, and I think it's a stock letter they've been used for many years. With um, William Moffat, did anybody reach out or mention that the main reason why we rejected it was that he's been doing it for 10 years but never in Menden, that if he considered doing it in Menden, then... He did mention that, you know, his, his family lives in Menden and uh, they hope to see me there, um, but it was held in Uxbridge. Yeah, it's, um, it's Uxbridge, is just, Uxbridge is just down the street, and you know, yeah. um, and he provided I, all this background, which is fine. Um, yeah. um, I agree, though, if, because you know, every year we seem to get more and more grant yeah. requests, so it's you know, and we only have a limited yeah. budget to work with, so yeah. you know, we have to let we have to spread it out. So. Oh, I can go either way. I was just you know, yeah. no, but I, I agree. But I, I think, think being, being honest, honest is good too. too. To so yeah. At least you could say, well, all right, I've been getting it. Yeah. So, you know, let's give yeah. someone else a chance. Plus, like I and you guys all know, I'm more for seeing it being held in town yeah. to benefit oh, the agree. people yeah. in the town, yeah. which you'd be able to give the seniors more of an access to be able to go oh, to true. it. Because right. <laughs> they don't kind of want to drive at 7 o'clock at night or whatever, even yeah. if it's at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In the wintertime, you get stopped yeah. early. They oh, don't yeah. kind of want to go to Uxbridge. It's more of a benefit if it stays in town and it's right. proactively yeah. promoting the town and the people. The little town of Menden. The little town of Menden. Right. But it also helps promote the council and makes us more oh, viable, yeah. saying, you know, yeah, they really do care about what goes on in town. So that's my opinion. I'd rather see it okay. more focused on the town than going okay. to other towns. So I think keeping in mind that the letter went out November 16th, it's been, I mean, we're approaching six, seven weeks now. Uh, my question is, 
did the original letter that went out that said thanks, but no thanks. Are we done or do I need to, since I haven't received anything from the Mass Council? I, I would double check with um, Summers. Um, there is a process you have to go through on, on the, the Massachusetts Cultural Council website where you have to go through and put in that you rejected the um, that you rejected the grant application and mm -hmm. denied, or I don't remember exactly what their word is, and, and you go through. I don't think you have to give a reason. I think you just have to mark they're okay. rejected. And then the state sends out another oh, okay. rejection letter. Um, and it might be 30 phone. days from that. Funding priority. Did you do that? Did it with the remaining? Did you check? Did you? You no, one, no one has rebutted. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm not. Just, he's the only one. He's the only one, which is good. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that on the, on the so website. I'll take another one. I look. think that when we go to do the final one, now when we go to submit it, it will take in all the rejections at the same time. I, guess. I used to be like so that. I remember, they Ricky, it. I remember Ricky calling me last year, and he said, like, you got to get the rejections in because I think the official 30 days starts from when the rejection is in their system and not when we send the letters out. And I don't I don't know I had with me. I don't I don't quite remember. Um, what about I just I'm just thinking about this. If we are getting the money back from the historical, then can we reconsider Bill? We just first have to get the money back from historical. We don't want to commit to something. We would. I know. But I'm saying, you know, I, I think it might just be an oversight that she hasn't responded. But I'm, you know, I don't know. But did, didn't we also have someone on hold? Yeah. Or is that is it? I thought we had one. I thought we had one on hold. Oh, okay. Okay. So they're first then. So so there's a, there's a bank of money that may have. I see. Okay. You know, right. Attachments to it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. All right, so let's go through our list that we said we would. So typically what we've done in the past with the approvals is that we, the person that's done the declines doesn't have to. Right. They've already done their part. So, yeah. so we just split it up for Sure, ways. no problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the one that says we visited the Blackstone Valley Community Chorus Concerts spring and fall. Yeah, we did. That's what we said. We revisit. How much were they asking? They asked for a thousand, and I think our reconsideration was five hundred. Well, actually, that's what, that's what we're paying them now. That's what the paperwork is oh. now for last year. It didn't seem like we had quite as many last year. Or it didn't last year. It seemed like the ones that we didn't fund were were kind of. It's like one from Florida that had you know, taped something and they wanted money to show it on the local cable. Another, they, they were just not, it was, not it, was it was not as close as the decision last year. All right, let's go down the list then. Yeah, okay. Approve yeah. which one we want and which one we're going to explicitly deny. Yeah. Number one was the Blackstone Valley Art. Association of Free Community Art Celebration in Menden. They requested 350. I would say yes to that. I remember seeing paperwork from an old one. It was kind of a cool thing that they pick a spot and you go and I think watercolors and you paint it. And, and it's right in and, and it's right in Menden. It's free to the community, so yeah. they're not going to be charged for anything. So yeah. I agree the 350 would be good to allocate yeah, to them. So. Well last year, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the one. Okay. All in favor of yes for number one? Aye. 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 Okay. Number two is the Blackstone Valley Chorus Concert. And we had said we would do 500 for that and reconsider, I believe, did we? Or we were going to reconsider the whole thing. I couldn't remember. I thought we said 500. 500 for the Blackstone Valley mm -hmm. Chorus. All in favor of Blackstone Valley Chorus getting 500? Aye. Say aye. 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 Number two is the 2024, and I'm sorry, number three, I can't count tonight, sorry. <laughs> number three is the 2024 Summer Concert Series. That's the Blackstone Valley Community Concert Band Series. Um, they're requesting 500. Is that the one that is held at the ballpark? Is that this? That was the, 
the Nipmuc Pond, the, the, or the lake, or whatever. The, 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 the lake area. Yeah. I call it the yeah. 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 Okay. All in favor of granting them 500? Oh, definitely. Uh, aye. Aye. Okay. They missed last year. They got their paperwork in late. I had to tell oh, them. That no. was the one, okay. <laughs> so it would be nice to find them this year. Number four is the BDT Monthly Cultural Festival. They're requesting 500. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Number five is the Club Third Grade Trolley, Historical Trolley Tour. Oh, I think that. Um, yeah, we are all opposed that. to this. <laughs> Nay. 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 Number six is Signs with Amanda. We had kind of had some back and forth on her. I had reached out to her, and she's willing to do it here in Menden. And um, she said she just wasn't sure where, and I reached out to Andrew and the library, yeah. and he is all for it. He was very happy about it. Okay. So um, she's going to do it if we approve her here in the library. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to be in the summertime. Yeah. It's on one day a week, and it's signs with Amanda, and she does all kinds of signs and stuff. More than once. So she'll come more than once. She'll come. I think she comes once a week for like eight weeks or something like that. Sure, like $900 yeah, or something. Yeah. So it's yeah. Yeah. So yeah. all in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, science is always good. Absolutely. And it's, it's a lot of fun. As a kid, it's fun stuff. Us yeah. as adults probably wouldn't. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Maybe. So, oh, yeah. Well, you know. The next one is the Winter Solstice and Story Hop concept. Diane Edgecombe. So yeah. we did grant her yes last year with her fantastical folk tales and flowers. I don't know what the outcome was. I don't remember. Does she do this at the senior center? I believe she does. I think they love her. Yes, I believe they do. She 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 had a recommendation. Yeah. 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 I would. I would All of those favors. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Aye. And that's the whole six seventy five. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the Great and Milford Car Spring Concert. Mm -hmm. It's this one that's held in with it directly, I believe. And this one we were thinking about 200 fans for four. And it is held in our curve. Do we want to circle back to that after we're done with everybody else? Or do we want well, to? No, because I don't think we had a lot of putting 900 for Amanda. Right. So why don't we circle back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The next one is Beat the Generation, a cultural review of the 1950s through music. No. So Sandy, last year he did the cultural and historical reflection of the 1960s through the music of the Beatles. Yes. Oh, so he's doing the same thing. It's um, a similar thing. He did it in the library, and I had contacted him and told him, hey, your program looks great, but you got to have a confirmed location. Okay. And he booked the library. This year he put in the grant, no location, no time, no date. Okay. I mean, he yeah. may have contacted the library, and the library said last year was great, but we just you know, two years in a row, no thanks. We don't have the resources. Or, I mean, he doesn't need all the he didn't the, no, so we're gonna yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. all those opposed? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll Number 10 <laughs> is the 2023-24 Live Arts Concert Series. This one, they're requesting 500. I can't remember. I have that we said no. We said no, yeah. It's Frank one. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So all those opposed? Okay. Number 11 is I Am. This one, I don't remember anything on this one. So last year you did a magic show. I believe it does at the library, or is it at the beach? Um, I know we granted him last year. And Sandy, you had to follow up with him. So no, that was Scott Martell with Magic, and that was at the Senior Center. This I Am, is, it's a motivational speaker. Oh. And it may be one that you saw oh, to, I think. Because I have a little bit that we Scott Martell. Whatever we talked about in the last meeting, but yeah. I don't have it. It's on, on my account. Was this the one that you saw in the books? And like, yeah. 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 I think we had said no to that one. I remember correctly. 
Yes, this was the one that was going to be all the books, so we didn't yeah. say no. Okay. So all those in nay? Nay. 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 All right, number 12 is find your, your roots Menden edition. That was a nay. That was a nay. nay. Yeah. All those in nay again? Nay. Right. Number 13 is the impact of historical misinformation on the lives of present day local Native Americans. This was the Menden Historical Society. They're asking 600. We thought about 300 last time. Mm -hmm. So, We've already paid them for Eleanor. In my mind, I'm thinking, yeah. we've already paid them for Eleanor Roosevelt. And what did we pay for that? 450. So they're asking 300. So but, I don't think we could do, I don't think we could sell them to keep that. No, but we could say, oh, yeah, I was going to say just give us back 150 and keep 300. Right. But I don't know if we, like I said, I don't know if we can do that either. I don't think yeah. So they'll have to pay us if we give them. So they'll pay us back the four fifty, and we're going to give them six. Three, 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 three. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if my question to you too, and I don't know how it works here because they fill out this paperwork, right? Yeah. We physically cut them a check, or does the town? The well, but my question is. Does the town like transfer? Like, I don't know if they have their own account, like we possibly do with the town, and they do a journal transfer of the funds. Oh, they do a transfer because so I, I think historical society is a different. Okay, I don't. That's my question. The, how they're funding, you know, how it works. That's private, all. Private. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. I just yeah. didn't know. That's why I'm yeah. asking because I know question. you like. There's a historic commission and a historical okay. society. All right. And all right. I had the same issue. Like. Okay. Separate. All right. Yes. So. Um, we're saying 300 to them, mm -hmm. all those in favor of 300 to the historical. I okay. have right, so that's number 13. Number 14 is Amelia R. Earhart. She's requesting $403, which we all agreed was an odd number. Remember, yeah. we discussed it. Was that those, those travel? Items? Travel, yeah. that's how we came to that because we calculated it, but we all thought we got 403. Well, um, all we thought 350 was better. Yeah, so that's a senior center, and I believe yeah. her turnout is pretty popular. Her shows, yeah. So she's done. She did RBG, and she did. I think she did um, Eleanor Roosevelt. She's done one a year, and they love her. Yeah. So we had discussed, like Sandy said, 300, 350. Oh, 350. Mm -hmm. All those in favor of giving her 350. Aye. Uh, Next is. Birch Alley Brass Christmas Concert. Mm -hmm. um, as we had discussed earlier, we all, I, we feel that it should come to be held in town. So all those in, and they on giving Birch Alley their money. Okay. Can we? Or do we want to revisit them? Yeah, let's, let's see how much, if we okay. have, if we have funds left over. All right, then, so we'll revisit, go to revisit him yeah. and we're going to revisit A. Next is the Providence Mandolin Orchestra Concert. It's at the Unitarian Church, I believe. I think you're right. It's not in Providence. It's, I think it was the Unitarian Church here in London. Mandolin concert, Mandolin Unitarian Church yeah. that is held. Mm -hmm. And is that like a Christmas concert? Does he do it at Christmas time or does he do it earlier than that? I'm just curious. Yeah. I don't think it was Christmas. I don't remember. I remember. Yeah, because it looks interesting. It does look interesting. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor of I, having the mandolin? Mm -hmm. I opposed. opposed. Eight numbers. Seventeen, right? 
Number 17 is the hip hop chia dance for seniors. This is this was there now too. This was there. Yeah, we said no last year too. Did they not have a letter of support? She didn't have a letter of support. Okay. So all those that nay. Number 18 is the quilt. I'm not going to ruin this poor person's name. <laughs> Alice Abdullah? Um, no, the, the description, the flu. Oh. The, oh. Flu, yeah, I'm not going to ruin that poor person's name. Okay. <laughs> um, we have discussed this and we had agreed to give. You've given in the past. Given in the past. Yes. You guys had given. Right. They, the Embo Pleasures was also looking. And we said no because they charged admission. Right. So but we have um, we have funded Alice in the past because she does play. Did we agree? Okay. We know we were going back and forth on dollar amount. On dollar amounts, yeah. Um, I'd just like to refer to the previous year to see if it's, it's around the same amount. Um, and yeah, she's only asking three hundred this year. Yeah, so they, yeah, she didn't even ask last year. <laughs> I mean, I think 300 is, I mean, she's there all day. It's all weekend. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's Saturday and Sunday. Oh, I didn't realize oh. it was two days. Yeah. 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 All those in favor of giving the flu to I Aye. Okay. The next one is music on the pond. Um, this is the one that's held at Oxbridge on the pond. All those. Nay. 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 <laughs> Science on the pond, that's another thing that's on the pond in Uxbridge. Okay. Number Blackstone Valley Music Coffee House Series. I know we had discussed this at some point. We had maybe for that. Yeah, we okay. had. Yeah. You want to see where we're at? Yeah, let's see where we're at. Let's see what we'll go back to rules. Yeah, we can go back to where we visit. Well, who was that again, please? The Coffee House Series. Okay. So, I'm going to be curious to see where they're going to have that because they were having it at the Unitarian Church in Oxbridge, but they leased out that church to a coffee shop uh -huh. and they're converting the downstairs into like a coffee shop thing. So, so I don't know if they have the upstairs available unless maybe they're doing the coffee shop in hope of when they have entertainment upstairs, they'll be mm -hmm. able to have downstairs open, but I think next month or something that's supposed to open up. Mm -hmm. So I was just Curious as to far as events being held there. Mm -hmm. All right. So number 22 is the Mike and Beth Cabaret Show. I think they had that at the senior center. I think they may even have had a letter of support, but they wanted 650 for a one hour show. And she thought that was, that was a pricey. lot. That was a lot. So we thought 325. That's fair. I think that's fair. So yeah. all those in favor of offering 325? Aye. Aye. Number 23 is Jack of All Trades, Education and Entertainment. You said no to that. I don't remember why. I think it was maybe because it was going to be close. Oh, maybe. It's a music thing. Oh, he he doesn't have any place where he's supposed to have it. Oh, There's okay. no information whatsoever on where he's going to have it. Okay. To be determined. And we were like, oh, yeah. no. So, jack of all trades. All those nays? Nay. Nay. Number 24 is the afternoon of brass number three. Nay. Nay. <laughs> oh, the different trades. He's another character. It's like, let's see these brass. Okay, let's see. Um, he, he's got a big budget. Huh? Uh, his, his thing is, is in downtown Boston and downtown Worcester. Yeah, it, remember, it wasn't going to be locally, and we were like, no, we don't think so. We want, we, yeah. We're trying to keep them local so people locally yeah, can Boston's go. Yeah, Boston's not local. No. Yeah, that's not around the corner. And, and Worcester, depending on the person, a lot of people don't like to drive. Yeah, Worcester, because yeah. it's not easy to navigate. Yeah. So, 
All those in nay of the brass number three? Nay. nay. And he sent an extremely snarky email last year, bemoaning the fact that we did not fund him. Okay, the next one is the Community Culture Night at the Symphony in 2024. That's the Claflin Music Foundation. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, said no. we said no, we said no. because no. they were already a, no. uh, yeah, uh, all uh, those nays. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number 26 is Fall Music Series, the Daniel Farmstead. Mm. All in favor of giving them, they requested 800. All those in favor of 800 for them? Aye. 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 The next one we have is Basic Balloon Animal Twisting Workshop. This is where the guy comes and makes those balloon animals. Yeah, was that in the summertime? summertime? I was going to say, was that through the library? That sounds like a library. Mm -hmm. I think it was. I have at least said yes to him. Yeah. Because it's just another activity for kids in the summertime. Yeah. yeah. All those in favor of giving balloons workshop the 450 say aye. Aye. Uh, all right. The next one we have is Thimble Pleasures, and they were requesting 3100 Um And that's they charged admission. That's a big admission. chunk of change. That's a big yeah, chunk of change, but they also budget. charge admissions, too. So it's like, yeah. no. And they didn't for a No. No. So all those nays for Thimble Pleasure? Nay. 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 Okay. Number 29 is the Old Time Sing Alongs. And this is. They're requesting 580. Is this held at the senior center? I think this is another senior center thing, and this is another one. They about. wanted 580 for one, one hour. hour. So no. we, that's yeah. A little steep. That's yeah. a little steep. We said 250. Yeah, we yeah. said, yeah, all right. All those in favor of giving old time 250? Aye. 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 Have they worked with the town before? Have they applied for money before in previous years? Not that I, not that okay. I remember, okay. but no, I, I just, they could have before. I just and, wondered historically if they ask that same high amount of money and we cut them in half or and the next one is first night in Uxbridge and yeah. all those in a okay so now what do we have that we've spent shannon's adding up yeah, yeah. good girl thank you shannon mm -hmm. now you used to be a man it seems like Uxbridge likes to ask us for money i mean <laughs> Yes, is there I mean, we love, and we love Oxbridge. Let's just put that yeah. in our notes. We love. Oh, I love Great hey. nature walks in Oxbridge. Hey. I love Oxbridge. I'm. I was born in Oxbridge. My husband was born in it. So we're a 50-50 people here. But I've always You're divided wanted, loyalties. Like we divided. Yeah. Well, I've always wanted to live in it. Oh. Always when we first got married, I was wanted to live in it. So it's not like. I. I think. And I years later, you got your wish. I got my wish. Um. I think. Jimmy's a good one. We're at 59. Like, oh, he, Jim, he probably can't get on, maybe. He's on. Oh. Uh, that says John Erickson. Yeah, that says John Erickson. Hello? Oh, man. Oh, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hi. Hi, it's Jim Stewart. Hi, Jim. Uh, I'm sitting on Google or uh, Microsoft Teams waiting to be let in. Oh. oh, how come it's not Sean? Ah, did we miss him? Yes. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> well, we're going to have we leave him on my phone. We're going to leave you on my phone. How's that sound? I don't know what we I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm technically challenged, so I could have done something and not got you to get in. So I will Well it, it I wonder if it's the same meeting that was posted in the agenda. Occasionally it happens if it's not the right meeting. Oh, oh, the oh I had that problem right. once. Oh so like I I'm I was looking at this and I'm not yeah, sure like how to it see was in the agenda. Yeah. Right. And it's a new one. Oh, okay. Well you can stay on my phone. We'll keep you on my phone. All right, if you don't mind. <laughs> Jim, we just went through the list. Uh, actually, we just finished going through the list of the yeas and nays. Um, pretty much, it, it pretty much mirrors what we did in the November meeting. Uh, we do have a couple on okay. hold, two or three on hold that we'll talk about. We, we have a little bit of funds funding left, uh, and we'll 
tally that up and then see if we can um, take a look at these people that are on hold and make it, you know, turn it into a yes. Um, maybe. So, I question just because I actually got a bunch of county records and I um, are, are you basing this off of like, what, what, how, how much money do you think we have to distribute? I believe we have 6,200. Yeah. Okay, I, we have more than that because there's stuff left over, but that's, that's okay. good. let's just go with that. But we, yeah, well, we've got a grant that we've got to pay out for the 23. 23, yeah. so. Tonight, we, tonight we just signed paperwork for a thousand dollar grant that we had from last year, so that'll take up some of the yeah. reserve. What are you showing that we have, Jim? What's the balance in the account, Jim? Shannon was asking. So recently, by the way, uh, most recently we paid out uh, to not have that. Now I lost it. Uh, there was a Christmas concert, um, and was that uh, Bridge Island? So we just we just paid that out, didn't we? Bridge we did. Bridge Island 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 Christmas concert. Yeah. 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 December twenty, December fourteenth. Um, that was for two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and the other one previous to that, uh, Magic Show, but that was paid out on October twelfth. Again, twenty three for four hundred dollars. So at this point, yeah, I mean we're more we're more than fine even with that thousand dollars. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to make sure we weren't overdoing it, but even with that thousand dollars, we're not going to. We'll probably still have two thousand dollars or so left <laughs> in the account, even if we spent all sixty two hundred. Is there anybody we haven't paid yet for FY twenty three? I thought Bill was being. I think that two thousand dollars is just sort of like a reserve because remember we were doing we were going to try and do the painting project right and oh, that's right th yeah. that was about two thousand dollars that we had for that and we couldn't find anybody that would want to paint that's right mural or something yeah well, well let's figure out what we've got 6, this year sixty two hundred even right well yes. we said yesterday tonight sixty two hundred yes. okay oh. Thus far, we've spent yeah. sixty-two hundred. Without, with it, not including the two that we're going to go back to. No, how much months. money is the grant for this? Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Oh, sixty-two. So we're it, we're, we're there. We're there. We so spent people. everything that we were supposed to this year. Okay. So, so the, the, the the two or three that are on hold would have to come out of excess funds from twenty-three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Reserves. 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 Now from twenty-three. Reserves. Right. Reserves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Do you want to go back and let's revisit at least what we have? I mean, so, uh, I know you like, I know you can keep X amount of dollars in the account for a reception. receptions and sure. stuff like that. Yeah. And I know we had talked previously too that we had, like I had mentioned when I came to your very first meeting, just the view, doing something in the fall, like a scarecrow yes. thing type yeah, of yeah, something yes. like that, scarecrows through the town. So yeah. that would be something we would be sponsoring. So some of that money could go to I a, think a trophy of some sort, yeah. you know, an annual scarecrow trophy or something I like love that. that idea. You know, yeah, and yeah, that would be you. you could have the prep school do scarecrows. You could get the police department, the fire department, you know, mm -hmm. each one of them, the selectman board yeah. make a scarecrow and Put them all up through towns and we could provide a map to people saying okay here's the scarecrow map please vote and we'll give them a cool. place you know on the town website go vote for your best scarecrow and then we could do yeah. a scarecrow trophy yeah. and each yeah. year pass that yeah. on yeah. to different groups but it would get yeah people have because we had reception yeah. in the spring at the, at the strawberry festival and it was yeah it was not there wasn't we have emailed everybody and invited everybody, but it was a Saturday in June and people probably had other, you know, commitments mm -hmm. and things like that. So I think that's a fabulous idea. Jordan. You know, and, the, and I, I can see the kids. The kids would get a big kick out of it because it doesn't have to be out of straw. It's whatever you want to make the scarecrow out of. You yeah. know, yeah. use your imagination. Yeah. I mean, the police department can make a policeman scarecrow or whatever, but just use your imagination and then, you know, just place them in different places in the town. So, yeah. 
just keep that. I don't know if you guys are still interested in that, but you might not want you might not want to spend all that money just oh, no, I'm a firm believer in keeping a little cushion. Keeping yeah. the cushion in there. Yeah. So that would I be have, there, especially too. since yeah. we want to try to promote doing things. Sure. Okay. Yes, thank you. All right, you're welcome. No. So I've never been to it, but it seems like the cardboard boat race mm -hmm. is a big yeah, that was one. and this I've never yeah. been. We, yeah. So so there is town spirit, and this would be yes. something that would I, I think that townspeople would do the scarecrows. I mean, if you're going to build a cardboard bow, a scarecrow is a heck of a lot easier. Right, everybody. You, you could do it. The, um, when do they have the annual? Is that the summertime when they have that annual, that big party in the park? That's on the summertime. Oh, um, summit? Rock the block. Rock the yeah, block. That's in September. That's in September. Yeah. So that yeah. might be a nice time yeah. to promote it. To promote yeah. it, and then we could kick it off saying, okay, from October first to October twenty something. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we want to yeah. warm up yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Or so, but this, but this way here, we could have them up till Halloween. But by a certain date in October, we know who it is, so that yeah. that person, Scarecrow, they could put a grand prize banner up for all, yeah. so that right. the people could go around. But they would be up for the entire month of October. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah, sure like post moved. office. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, post office. You know, wherever who wants to do it. You yeah. know, the bank, who, the library, yeah, whoever. Everybody, all businesses wants to do it. Make a scarecrow, and we'll put you on a map, and we'll post the map out online mm -hmm. yeah. on the town yeah. website, and they yeah. can go and vote. Yeah. That's great. All right. Yeah. So, okay. all right. All right, so we're going to look at our hold, people on hold. Yes, yes, we have number eight we put on hold, which was the Greater Milford Community Concept. They were asking 400. Mm -hmm. Where is it taking place? Two. I believe this takes place, does this take place in Milford? So, Julian, how much have you done this before with this game? How much do you think? Mm, I've never done it. Oh, okay, you just have an idea. I had an idea. You're not going to need more than I was, it depends what you're going to make for a trophy. That's where your, your most expensive piece is going to be, is the trophy. Yeah, because the trophies, are trophies are not cheap to begin with, so if yeah. you get details, then because it's a scarecrow content, you probably want to put a scarecrow on the trophy. I yeah. don't know about you. I'm a, a yeah. regular human trophy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want something right, right. falling and stuff like that. that. Yeah. Um, I can figure, find a place that does trophies and see if you can give me an estimate as to what it would yeah. be, just so that from his yeah. meeting, just to have an right. idea. And then just the uh, printing. I mean, um, when we print, if we do color prints, the town allows us to? You're allowed to keep so much in your budget. Okay. Um, but I think the town special. hall would print on a color printer for us. I don't think we have to pay. You don't even, you could even just post it on the town website. Yeah, people use that. it off their phones. They will use, that. more people don't like paper, they like their phones. So if you right. put it, on the Cultural Council's page on the town website and say, right. here's the map, go vote, and you give them the exact locations, they'll download yeah. along because they'll be downloaded. And if we do, like, kick it off at the Rock the Block, maybe we can make our own scarecrow. Crow to show. Know, the Cultural Council, yeah. to have something there. They like, can see. Yeah, they yeah. can see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a fun, and then we do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun activity for the fall. Yeah. They, have, they do the Christmas and all of that, so right. it'll be something in the fall. Yeah. And, um, Plus, careful the neutral. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, okay so the Milford, the Milford concert is being held at the Grand Ballroom in the Milford Town Hall. This is definitely going to be held in Milford. Well, can we ask them to uh, move it to Minden? <laughs> We can. <laughs> well, you know, we, we can make we can make the funding contingent upon A, B, and C. I think we're only you know, that's, that's what, I don't know we want, yeah. we want to get too pushy for that. I think that we're one of many cultural councils that they, they do. Yes, yeah. they do yeah. because they. Oh, hold on, I can tell you. Um, because they have the list in their application that yeah. they've applied to. Right. And their total budget is two thousand twenty-five dollars. They apply to Menden, Medway, Milford, and Upton. So, um, sounds like somebody's playing yeah. Yeah. Um, see, see, the only thing that aggravates me about this whole thing is that they're paying their musicians $25 an hour for 15 hours. That's what the brunt of the money is going to, $1,100 of it.
I mean, I guess it would come down to how many people it serves. Right. You know I mean, right. obviously these people it's are serving four four times. It's serving four times. It's serving the community. The local community. Local community. Local local community. Right. So, I mean. What are they asking? Four. They're asking for 400, but we have. I think we had said two. Two. I have, I have two. We had, yeah, we had said if we were going to do it and revisit. I mean, they, and it's up that they can, they can accept it or deny it yeah. or decline it. Okay, so we'll. Was that a yes? So. All those in yes for 200 for them. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm okay. Number 15 is, I remember, Brass Valley Branch, Birch Alley Band. Excuse me. Birch Alley Brass. <laughs> Don't look. What are they asking? Brass, uh, brass, birch, whatever. They're all the thing. He's not jealous. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Is this Bill? Yeah, this yes, is Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so were we considering it? Were we considering we it? said we'd come back to him. Come back. We did say that. Well, let's go well, before we come back to him. Let's go to twenty-one because we did give him a hard. No, no. Really, yeah. So let's go to twenty-one first, okay. and then we'll come back to him. Oh, let's okay. play fair, okay? okay. <laughs> Blackstone Valley Music Coffee House Series. This is the coffee house series that um, has. We're not sure about if they're renting out space in the bottom. The I don't. Well, I don't know. I want to see what they've got it. This they said they're going to have it because I know that the Unitarian Church has um, been leased out. But then again, they could still be allowing things upstairs. You know. Mm -hmm. So the part that's been leased out, the coffee house. Mm -hmm. Could they do it there because they're calling it coffee house too? Could be. It could be. Could be. It could be. Um, it's the first Saturday in each month from the fall to the spring. They do it every Saturday. Um, it is going to still be at the former Unitarian Church. It's not changed. Um, what's the dollars? They're asking five hundred. What if we give them less? A little. I'm sure they'll take anything because this basically what they do is they have local. You can go as a a musician if you want yeah, and open mic, open mic. they okay. do open mic mm -hmm. but they also have um kids who come in that also take lessons at one of the local oh. shops and they play and they do do mm -hmm. different things and gigs and stuff like that yeah, we did the 350. i think that's really 350 yeah. for sure. coffee house series yeah, yeah. okay okay now the last one is back to bill okay okay right. Because he would be the last one, number 15. And he was asking, I believe he said 250, if I'm not mistaken. How about if we say we'll give you the 250, but we'd like you to move it to Menden? That's I'm, obviously I'm for that. that we're I'm obviously for, the I'm direction that. we're trying to go in. I'm all for that. We can say 250 under the condition it's held in town. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Okay. Okay. I will all those letter. in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Because, you know, he's been doing it for the last 10 years, so there's no reason why he can't alternate. One year do it in Menden, one year do it in Oxbridge, and then I would support that every year because they are close. And right. Why? Yeah. For 10 yeah. years, he's never come yeah. here. That. What's it gonna they'll move down. They'll, they'll go down the street. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So I will bring him along. Mm -hmm. And I want to see something, too, while we're at it, because I agree with you, Sandy, as far as that goes. Oh my God, my system just, there it is. He doesn't list, I was going to say, he doesn't list the other towns that he applies to. He just puts other community councils because I'd be curious to see, like you said, if he rotated it around to each year, to each council that he applies to, each town would get a benefit from it. That almost makes me want to not fund him, though, how many, I mean, he could be applying he just had others. He says, it says, please briefly describe other sources of projected income needed to complete this project, other community councils. He doesn't list the town. <laughs> Whereas on the application, you specifically are supposed to yeah. list each town that you're I'm, working I'm to. In, I'm in A then. He should, he should list those. But I'm outvoted, so it doesn't matter. And then he said, I will. I see your point. I definitely see her point. No, no question. No that question. makes it very vague yeah. on what he's getting. Can you ask that he elaborate? 
the thing is, too, is that he's been on this kind of He knows the rules. So he knows the rules. Yeah, it's not the first time he's ever, and it very specifically says, not even what other sources of funding, it specifically says, have you applied to other LLCs? It's, it's, it's his wife. I mean, I, I know he's computer challenged, but. Do we want to fund him less than the, the one he's asking for? And, and it has to come to Mendon. We can do that. You know, you know I just think of any time, um, I had I was a tr trustee with a, a United Methodist Elder Care for like nine years, and we would always go to the big wigs, you know, the the, the Chafee, you know, uh, John Chafee and his mm -hmm. wife, uh, Dan Foss. We'd ask for for a, a hundred thousand dollars, and they would always come back and say, "We'll give you fifty thousand dollars under the condition that you can raise the other fifty thousand dollars, and you have ninety days to do it." You know, they they would put the ball right back in your court. If you really want up fifty thousand, you've got to jump through hoops. So if we if Bill wants to do this, if he wants our money, we'll give you we'll give you two hundred, and you still have to move to Mendon. And I understand he's probably getting money from other towns. Mm -hmm. No, and, and the ball's in his court. He can I'm, say yay yeah, yeah, or nay. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. I have no yeah. problem with that. If we want to do that, two hundred, and it's still yeah, let's keep the money. Let's keep a, a good chunk of change for our uh, scarecrow festival. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm for that. 200. 200. And Bill has to hold it and then did. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. All right. With that. It's okay. You guys can. Okay. No, it's no, it's not. So, so my, question, my question is, I've sent him a rejection letter. <clears throat> I'm happy to send him. Is there is there a form that says you're going to get it? You know, we, we review. There, there is. When we put it in, the acceptance, and you put in the dollar amount and the conditions. Okay, yes. so do I need to respond to him directly? Yeah, because he sent in a rebuttal. No, we no. Rejected we'll the... go through the website. Go through. We'll go because we have to put in all okay. of the acceptance or rejections or, or whatever, all the acceptance and the dollar you... amount okay. into the mass council so website. So now I will do nothing. You will do nothing okay, unless fine. I tell you, unless I reach out to you and say, oh, you need to let them know it's got to be amended. But I'm pretty sure we can put the conditions in the okay. website. Okay, all right, thing. that's fine. But we we have to e email all these folks and let them know that they're and right that with the attachments, attachments. Yeah. correct okay. yeah. yes we still have to do that okay. so but first we'll put it into the website because the website will let them know also oh, that okay. they got it and then we email them saying congratulations your grant has been accepted da 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 here's the dollar amount and in that email we can put in big bold letters bold this must take place this must take place in Menden okay, okay. Yep. and then it's up to him and, yeah then it's up to him okay. Is there any anything else that was on hold that we or? I think so. I'm just I'm just thinking of any other rejection letters I could send out. No, no. I didn't think so. No, we were. No. I knew there were a couple. That, uh, originally, there were a few on hold. Hold. And then Bill came in. Correct. Okay. Okay. I think the ones on hold. I think we ended up having enough money. And yeah. We actually just so. we did. That's because yeah. Jim found us some money. You did. You went digging for gold. <laughs> Tell you one thing. Uh, to answer a question that you had given before, we currently our current balance is three thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollars and fifty five cents. Um, that would not include uh, the two thousand dollars you just uh, said, or one thousand dollars. In any case, yes, that's uh, that, good question. So that's that. Uh, that's not include, of course, the Sixty two hundred or whatever we're going to get yeah. Um, yeah. from the state and cultural council. Okay. So, so that would be good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Any other business we have? So we just need to split them up. So there are 16 okay. yeses. Okay. So um, it's usually easier. Just I'll take one, the first four yeses. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shannon will take first four. Okay. Yeah. So that would be number one, number two, yep, so number three, three, and number four. Blackstone Valley Community Chorus uh, 2024 Summer Concert Series and Blackstone Valley Multicultural Festival. Okay. So that is one, two, three, four, right? Yep. yep. Okay. All right. I can take the next four, which would be uh, Science with Amanda, Amanda yeah. the Winter Solstice, Greater Community, and 
Number three. The Mendon Historical Society, number 13. Okay. I'll take the next one. That will be number 15, which is Bill. No, Paul's, Paul's going to say Bill. Okay, yeah. Paul's got Bill. Paul's got Bill. Sorry, Paul. I didn't think I was doing any. I thought I did all the rejections. I thought you were just going to read. So he's not going to He doesn't have to word, no. I'll take oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I will. No, no. I will. No, I'll take it. And, and I'll make sure. Number, oh, number um, Birch Alley, and I've got the um, number 16, which is the Providence, the manual, mandolin. Number 18, which is the thimble. Uh, Ellis. Ellis. And number 21. Which is the coffee house. Which is always four left. Right. I think Jim. you need to go back. Oh, Jim. Jim. No, Jim. Yeah, we have Jim. Yes. Jim? Okay. Yes. You're going to need to email responses to, acceptance responses to, okay? Do you have the list in front of you by chance? I have. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'll do it because he doesn't have the dollar amount we agreed on, and we changed some of the dollar amount. Okay. I'll don't worry about it, Jim. I'll take care of the last four. I'll do. I don't mind. I don't mind. You gonna do eight? Yeah, I don't yeah, mind. I do. No, I don't mind. I can do it. I'm used to it. I did it before when I was a sprint, so it's like <laughs> congratulations. You've been you've been awarded. I've been lucky. <laughs> so, Cindy, you have signed for the Miami Winter Solstice. Greater Community Chorus and Impact of, the, I mean, the historical? No. Oh, yes, yeah. right. and then I'll take the remainders, okay? I'm not sure. I'm positive. Wait, so, Amelia Earhart. Who, who took Amelia Earhart? Which number is that? That's number 14. 14. I think, I know, that one was left out. Uh, okay. I can do that. Can you show? Oh, yeah, because okay. that's, that, that's a quick, easy one. Okay. I can do that one. All right. Okay. No, you're fine. No, because you weren't on when we did the dollar amount, so it's fine. I can take care of it. It's no, it's basically a form letter anyhow, and just changing the name and the dollar amount each time. And then have right. Yeah, and the attachment. So yeah. So it's the W nine and the um the the grant agreement. Grant agreement. And the advertising. If they do any advertising, they have to list us on it. So this advertising oh. protocol that you've got to attach. I don't, yeah. I don't last, know that last, time. That, last year, I updated the form letter and I put the link to the Massachusetts oh. Cultural Council website that gives the information on the advertising. Okay. Can you forward that? I can. Please. And I also sort of push them towards electronic and not through the not mail. Through snail mail. Yeah. 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 You can forward that to us. That'd I can. Be great. Yep, I can send that out again. And we have to have these done by, was it January 17th? Yes, next week, I it's think. Yes, it's coming. Yeah, because okay. yeah. I'll get it all into the system this weekend, okay. and then you guys, I'll send you, shoot you guys an email saying, okay, go ahead and send you letters. Oh, okay. okay. All right, now we there. Okay. We'll take care of it. Super. Oh, this is a good one. Accomplished tonight. We did get a lot accomplished. So I have something I wanted to mention if you're in the other topic. Sure, we're going to the topic right now. Okay. So I wasn't sure if you know. Sure, anything, um, please. So it, I was at the Council on Aging meeting this morning because I'm the liais liaison for them also. And uh, Amy mentioned that they're uh, considering having um, an art show at the Senior Center. And I wondered. So if that would be something that the Cultural Council might like to collaborate on. And so she may reach out to oh, you to okay. see if it's something that you're yeah. interested in. So there are a lot of um, local artists in Mendon and, you know, just an opportunity to showcase them. So, you know, when she talked about it, I'm like, that sounds very cultural to me. So yeah, after, that would you be know, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. anyhow, so Amy may be reaching out mm -hmm. to all of you. Cool. Um, okay. So because yeah. so, I think, you know, it would be nice to have a more, um, you know, collaboration across the yeah. uh, Yes. Yeah. So, sure. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Anybody have anything else? We Shall we set our next meeting? I was say, we need to set our next meeting. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Wednesday night's still good for everybody? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's take a look here. 
The month of February. We won't do Valentine's Day because they we're all going to be in trouble if we do Valentine's Day. So we'll <laughs> skip Valentine's Day. <laughs> Unless you all want to be in trouble for Valentine's no. Day. No. How about February 21st, okay. the week after Valentine's Day? Sure. It's 7 o'clock here again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good to you, Jim? 21st, yeah. Same uh, Yeah, I can do that. Same here at the library. Again, it's 7 yep. p.m. Yep. All right. All right. I think we adjourn. adjourn. Yes. All right. Aye. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All you have to do now is leave. Actually, if you end the recording, if you go back to more. I think it didn't say that ended their transcription without the recording. It went out. There you go.